Hello everyone, myself uh, Srinivas Sherge. In this video lecture, uh, so I am going to discuss about power transmission by pipelines. The pipes carrying water or liquid from one section to another may be utilized to transmit hydraulic power. So, in practical situation, in some cases, uh, the pipe which carrying the water are utilized to transmit hydraulic power from one section to another section and this hydraulic power is used for the working of hydraulic machines like turbine. So by using this hydraulic power the turbine get rotated and by using the generator this mechanical energy get converted into the electrical energy. So in this video lecture uh, we will try to find out how much power is transmitted by pipe, how much maximum power is transmitted by pipe and how much is the maximum efficiency of a power transmission by pipe. So first we will go for how much power is transmitted by the pipe. Uh, so consider a, a reservoir and one pipe is connected to this reservoir. So H is the head available at the entrance of the pipe and so this is H is the head available at the entrance of the pipe and when fluid flows from the entrance of the pipe to the exit of the pipe so some head loss is taking place and that head loss is due to the friction between the fluid particles and the pipe wall. So, so that head loss is nothing but HF. So HF is the head loss due to the friction. So H is the head available uh, at the entrance of the pipe. HF is the head loss when fluid flows from entrance to the exit. So obviously at the exit of the pipe the head available is H minus HF. So H minus HF is the head available at the exit of, of pipe. So weight of the water flowing through the pipe per unit time. So here we want to find out how much weight of the water is flowing per unit time. So unit will be what? Newton per second and that is equals to weight density into the discharge. So W is the weight density that is Newton per meter cube into discharge that is meter cube per second. So Newton per meter cube into meter cube per second. So that becomes Newton per, Newton per second that is weight of the water flowing through the pipe per unit time. So now we will try to find out so how much is the power available at the exit of the pipe. So power available at the exit of the pipe is equals to weight of the water per unit time or per second into head available at the exit of the pipe because we want to find out power available at the exit of the pipe. So here we have to take a head available at the exit of the pipe. So just we will uh, uh, just we will check the units of both sides. So here the unit of power is, we know that the unit of power is Watt. That is nothing but what? Uh, energy per unit time that is Joule per second or that is again Verdun per unit time. So Verdun is Newton meter per second. So that is equals to weight of the water per unit time per second is Newton per second and head available at the exit is into meter. So Newton meter per second and Newton meter per second. So that get balance. So it becomes power P equals to which is available at the exit of the pipe equals to weight of the water per second. So we have seen the weight of the water per unit time is weight density into discharge into head available at the exit of the pipe is H minus HF. So again we know that Q that is discharge equals to area into velocity. So therefore power equals to weight density into area into velocity into H minus HF. So this is equation number 1. So just we will multiply this V uh, to H and HF. The equation becomes P equals to weight density into area into HV minus HF. And as we know that HF is the head loss due to friction and head loss due to friction is defined by Darcy-Weisbach equation and that is FLV square upon 2GD. 
so this is this equation becomes p equals to wet density into a into hv minus fl v square upon 2 gd into v so this v square into v becomes what p equals to <coughs> wa into hv minus fl v cube upon 2 gd and this is the power available at at the exit of the pipe so some power is available at the entrance of the pipe and this is the power available at the exit of the pipe that means what this much power get transmitted from entrance to the exit of the pipe so next we will go for the maximum power so how much maximum power will get transmitted from entrance to the exit of the pipe or from one section to the another section of the pipe so first we will try to find out the condition for the maximum power and for that we will differentiate <coughs> this term that is hv minus flv cube upon 2 gd if this total term is maximum so in that case the power is also maximum so to uh, get this term maximum so we have to differentiate this term and uh, it uh, it uh, it should equate to what zero so differentiation of hv minus flv cube upon 2 gd with respect to the v equals to zero so this gives us maximum power so when we differentiate it so we will get so h minus 3 fl v square upon 2 gd equals to 0 so that becomes h equals to 3 fl v square upon 2 gd and as we know that fl v square upon 2 gd is nothing but what hf that is head loss due to friction so therefore this equation becomes h equals to 3 into this term is hf so h equals to 3 hf Again, I can write down here HF that is head loss due to friction equals to one third of H. So this is the condition for the maximum power. So head loss due to friction, if the head loss due to friction is one third of head available at the entrance of the pipe. So in that case, we will get the maximum power. So HF equals to one by three H is the condition for maximum power. So put the above condition that is the maximum power condition in equation number one. So this is equation number one. So we will get the maximum power. So P max equals to uh, weight density into area into velocity into this H minus as we know that the condition for maximum power is HF equals to 1 by 3H. So we'll put HF equals to uh, H by 3 or 1 by 3H. And finally, we will get the maximum power that is what h minus h by 3 is 2 by 3 h. And so this is the maximum power we will get that is 2 by 3 weight density into area into head available at the entrance of the pipe into velocity of the flow vehicle. So this is the maximum power that we can transmit from entrance to the exit of the pipe or from one section to the other section. So this is about the maximum power. So next, we will try to find out here efficiency. So <coughs> as we know that efficiency is what the output power divided by input power. So already we have seen that. Uh, so output power means what? That is power available at the exit of the pipe. And input power means what? The power available at the entrance of the uh, pipe. So therefore efficiency equals to so power available at the exit of the pipe so that we have already seen power available at the exit of the pipe is equals to weight of the uh, water or the uh, liquid per unit time. So that is W into Q that is nothing but what W into area into velocity into head available at the exit of the pipe so H minus HF. So again the same thing is here power available at the entrance of the pipe so that is equals to again weight density that is uh, a weight density into q into h h is the head available at the entrance of the pipe so this w a v get cancelled and we will get the efficiency equals to h minus hf divided by h that is h is the head available at the entrance of the pipe minus hf is the head loss due to friction divided by again h that that, that is head available at the entrance of the pipe. So this is 
the equation of efficiency by using that we can find out the efficiency of the power transmission when fluid is flowing through the pipe so again now we will try to find out the maximum efficiency so how much maximum efficiency we will get so uh, to find out the maximum efficiency so we know about the maximum power condition and the maximum power condition is what h of equals to uh, 1 by 3h so we will put uh, the value of this hf in this equation of efficiency so we will get uh, efficiency equals to h minus 1 by 3h divided by h so we will get 2 by 3 and the efficiency the efficiency finally we will get 66.67% so that much uh, percentage of maximum efficiency we will get during the power transmission in the pipe from one section to another section so this the meaning of this one is what this is the entrance of the pipe this is the exit of the pipe so uh, 66.67% of energy we will get at the exit of the pipe uh, out of the energy or the head available at the uh, entrance of the pipe so the maximum efficiency we will get the 66.67% so this is all about the power transmission in the pipelines thank you